aí que é meu people, sejam bem-vindos a mais um vídeo do Vosso Blind Dance com o Marinho Calma Sanko Como é que é meu people, sejam bem-vindos, como é que é, espero que estejam tudo bem Eu estou aí agora para o ginásio, parece que eu estou com essa minha roupa aqui, parece que estou nu, mas não estou I'm just saying that I'm about to go to the gym, that's why I'm wearing this You know, like, no, you just wanna do it. Yeah, I ain't flexing nothing because I ain't got no muscles yet. But yeah. Uh, my people, hoje temos aqui uma reação que tá sempre aqui a. Man, tá sempre a chamar, man. Tá sempre aqui a aparecer. This video is always showing up to my tab on YouTube. I don't know why. So we're just gonna get into and, you know, see what's, what, what's about. Inside Brazil, the most dangerous neighborhood, extreme slum. Hey. <laughs> I don't know what's that about. A gente tem que saber o que, que, esse, que, que esse vídeo tá falando sobre o Brasil, mano. Em, dentro da, do bairro mais perigoso do Brasil. Hum. A gente vai ver isso com vocês já agora, nessa reação de hoje. Vamos ver. Aparentemente é a vida na favela. Aparentemente é como the vida living inside the favela. The living conditions. Living conditions. Parece que, que, que é tipo as condições de vida lá no Brasil. Do you want English caption? Yeah. yeah. Ok, cool. Vou meter as coisas. Hey! Tio Barteio! Tio Barteio! Olha a volta que o mundo está dando. The ones we love never die. Ai, ai. Do you know He's an MC, definitely. Ah, no. Ah. Ele tem a voz do Borges. It reminds me of Borges. Man, é top. Ele é lindo, man. Wow. Guilherme, então ele vai explorar o Brasil, vai mostrar a parte pobre e a parte rica do Brasil. Yeah, nice, mano, eu não quero saber o que vocês falam do Rio de Janeiro. O Rio de Janeiro é top, mano. Look at the favela, literally. There's buildings near and then you can... Copacabana, final de jogo. Mano, eu não tinha noção disso, mano. I didn't have, like, visi like a visibility of what it was. There's people right near me doing crack cocaine right now. Toma, no samba. Mate, he's brave, bro. Já estão subindo. O quê? Afinal, as... Porra, muita bala, mano. O bicho pega. Você vê, é like comando vermelho. Porra. Like nothing. Yeah, like just like it's natural. Tipo nada, mano. Ah, um dia atrás. Maybe we were scared of the fighting last night. Hmm. Which means that the residents of Rio have to pay a further 30% of their power bills. Luz Cabos, mano. 
also tap into the eee, look at the cables for though. Water, I know. And they take that illegally from the Imagine trying to untangle that. Oh my god. And uh, this uh, favela is significantly more tense than the last more one. Tense, the absolutely. Rain. We just walked some past a, a guy with a big gun just hanging out. And, but we've got a, a local guide, Fernando, here, and he was just sharing some interesting points about. I'll put this in Portuguese because you have it in English. You know, understand. You understand English. So they don't understand. So we're talking about three drug gangs. So they have their own rules. So one of the rules, like people that like, you understand now? They're not allowed to date girls under 18. This one they allow to use crack. Oh, they do. They do. But other places they don't allow. Some, some of them. But now most of them they allow because it's a way to make more money. This one is more intense because we consider it like not commercial slum. They are not like Rocinha, the other day that yeah. we went, because Rocinha. in the south zone of Rio, mm. a lot of money involved. So other drug gangs wanted to take the territory. There's a lot of money, man. You're in you see what I was telling yeah. you? So all our drug yeah. gangs wanna... Tá a ver o que eu estava explicando na gringa, que às vezes, tipo, os de outras favelas querem invadir a outra favela. Tipo, ela não estava a entender isso, para you see why now, yeah, like, they uh -huh. crazy, bro, like, they be going, they drive from the other favela to take the other ones, like, so that's where the money is, and eventually it's the most dangerous part of the, of the city, because that's where we live, that's where the money is, the money is, exactly, yeah, they already know Oh, they know because Fernando need to ask for permission and tell the guys, like, hey, I'm gonna lead a group today. I love this place because keep, keep me awake. Right. See, for us, we need to ask for permission. Someone needs to ask for permission. Yeah. That's uh, crazy, yeah. like. <laughs> mano, pra gente ir, a gente tem que ter o trisatão da gay de vocês aí nos comentários, mano. Quem conhece a favela sabe que o bicho aqui... <laughs> Mano, a gente tem que ir com autorização, mano. Hey, bro, like, you know, they already know your name. Yeah. It's Bethany Taylor from Scotland. She's like 24, you know, yeah, the time we got. They, they need to know, babe. <laughs> That's crazy, yeah. It's a different world, I told oh, I know. you. É um mundo com completamente diferente, mano. Que a Bethany nem sabia disso, mano. Yeah. And we have to go to one of these houses to hide ourselves okay. and wait until it finishes. Finish. Right. And sometimes it lasts long 12 hours, wow. 10 oh hours. Good. Somebody like me coming up here alone would be the most stupid thing you could ever do. Alone? <laughs> you're dead. Yeah. Man, you're dead. Yeah. You see, like the first place, you'll be like, man, what are you doing here with this camera? They don't know who you are. You could yeah. be an enemy, you could be a police, you know? Drug civil yes. war in Rio kills more than uh, Syria. Really? No. So we, we have more deaf people. Here we have the Gaza Strip. Strip. Strip, sorry. Yeah. Gaza Strip. We have uh, in a favela here. We call Fasha de Gaza. Really? I told you. Yeah. I yeah. told you. I told you. La Fasha de Gaza. So I'm a bomb and I get right to the nada. Varachi talulu pechi. Kuleta provaji. Vala. Lots of machine guns. They keep 70 RP-10, 762, 9mm. Oh my god. That's all the weapons from gold. Look how tight that is. Oh, look, because I've been picking them on. Come on, 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 come That's why they wanna win, you know what I'm saying? That's why they're so proud when music like oh yeah. the kid from the favela won, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Things like that. Buy a house or to rent a house, you know? Man, por isso é que vocês ficam falando. O cara da favela ganhou esse chão, tá vendo? Mínimo 205 libras por mês. Wow, man. Oh my god. No fio ali, man. It's not right. What are you doing? Let's go get more here. Let me just see. Yeah, man, that's 
Just crazy. Look at the doors. Like. Por otro. Mano, nem sabia que era assim tão perto da, da cidade, mano. Eu pensava que tipo era uma zona que você entrava depois de que subia pra, pra favela, mano. So we just come up to this viewpoint here. Very beautiful, as always in this country. It's the beauty mixed in with the, oh, no. the tense atmosphere, but we yeah. just walked past a bunch of guys. Uh, there was like crack cocaine, cocaine and weed sitting uh, on the ground and then dudes holding heavy weapons. The interesting part is though is that you have that. You have these really intense scenes that you're kind of heart pumping and you just look to the, you look straight, you don't look at them. Sometimes they put their hand out to fist bump you, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's respect. Like, yeah. yeah, I'd be like this. You're gonna get that Leo, la pan un traficante. Restaurants and clothes shops that are actually quite, you know, developed looking. They're selling different kinds of sports equipment and things. It's really interesting. There's mobile phone fixing shops. Obviously, I'm capturing as much as I can, but I have to listen to the guys, obviously. <laughs> I only lift up the camera when... See, we could get a guide up there. Now, we can get a guide. Yeah. A gente pode. Yeah. Yeah, a gente pode apanhar um, um senhor que coisa. Que nos guie. Porque eles têm que ser feitos porque eles Copacabana, olha só. That's crazy how we reacted to Copacabana. In this. A gente reagiu ao Copacabana, o Copacabana é já ali, mano. Mano, que loucura. O Brasil tem uma mistura. Ai, it's a mixture of everything, yeah, mixture though. That's... Mano, que loucura, mano. I just like I know I'm the play like, I know I'm the closest to to Brazil and I still get surprises. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Man, I'm too close to the Brazil, tipo, in relation to falar Portuguese and there are various amigos que são brasileiros. Mas eu continuo a ficar surpreendido com vários vídeos que a gente reage, mano. So you can go there with a camera, clearly. You, we, yeah, you, you can, really but you need to be a devastation from that. Olha outra casa. Oh, that's a nice Look, view. Olha a view, mano. And then this is the place. It's sad, eh? It is. It's like two different extremes. They just throw the rubbish off here. <gasps> olha o lixo, oh, mano. See, that's bad for the environment. Wait, what? Where does the pig came from? <laughs> Ah, onde, é porco, onde é que o porco veio? Onde é que o porco veio? Nick, Nick, ele é da Nova Zelândia. Nick, bonito. Eu pensei que você era um homem grande. Sim, porque você tem uma beleza diferente. Eles amam. Sim, por isso eles te amam tanto. Porque você tem uma beleza diferente. É isso o seu show? Não, pai. É o pai dela. O negócio de família. Você gosta de viver aqui? cara inventando palavras em inglês maravilhoso <laughs> Tranquil. Didn't have the opportunity to come here and to change the way you guys thinking about the concept, the right. meaning of a favela. Stop watching the news. Right. So. Fake news. Right. Mm. <laughs> I agree with her. People from the favelas are happier than the people from the street because they have money. They want to purchase material things and they yeah. don't have anything. But It's facts. Uh, yeah. Yeah, man, and, and they, they're always hoping for a better future, you know, and we always tend to complain. I want to buy a new iPhone, I want to buy me a new car, I want to buy a new car. Man, I swear, it's a lot of truth. Regatta. Regatta. They have less, but they're happy. You have less, but you're more happy than us. 
It's because they're not. They're just used to that, so they don't. The side of the hill there. The reason I couldn't fly it over the favela is because they told me that it would get shot out of the sky with a machine gun. Like I say again, you can see. Betali, a cara da Betali, we got. O cara disse. Yeah, I want to go up there. We, you can do it. O cara disse que eu não vou, eu mo drone. Porque ele vai meter a do, dos traficantes. He's an MC, bro. NBA Young Boy, olha ele. NBA Young Boy. Is that real? He's talking about NBA Young Boy. Yeah, yeah. NBA Young Boy. Young Boy. Young Boy. He's talking about NBA Young Boy. Watch this space, we'll see you. I want a video. We just took a bit of a trek through the trees, absolutely unreal. Yeah, I like stuff like that. Mano, foda se vosso país, mano. Eu vou usufruir desse desse país. Tipo é meu. Oh, so you have to go through the favelas to get there. It's not possible. So this is a viewpoint of Rio. That's we're very lucky to see this one. Yeah, so he's saying you have to go through guards to get out there. Porra! A gente tem que passar. A gente tem que passar pelos. Pelo segurança do morro. Who's Kelly Slater? She's a world famous surfer. Oh, okay. The owner of this gym, which is this guy here, Claudio Coelho. Claudio Coelho. He's with this guy, Ken Shamrock. So all the big guys from uh, UFC, you know. So we've come down the hill a bit and we've got this incredible backdrop here with all the favelas on the hillside. Mm -hmm. We just hiked to the top of that hill and came down. We're here with uh, Fernando who's been helping us out here. You grew up your whole life living here? Fiz parte da comunidade de 83 a 83. Born in Rio in some area around here. Uh, he joined the community from 83 to 86, and then from 86 until 2006, he was just doing uh, several shows in Israel. Israel? Dancing show. He's a professional dancer. He's a professional dancer. To work uh, visa, got fired, and then he had to uh, go back to Brazil. What countries did he travel to? Israel, Portugal, France, Spain. Israel, Portugal, Spain, France, Japan. Japan. Uh, Austria, Belgium. You've been to a lot of European countries. What would you say the main difference between Rio specifically? I don't know if you want to Especially black people, right? They feel a lot of a racist, right? Especially in Spain. Yeah. Uh, so he felt discriminated yeah. against in Europe. Against, yeah. Yeah, they're like... Uh, running, running after him, saying Africa. Uh, metro station. Towards or away? Away. Wait, Spanish people are like that? Yeah, they really? a little bit like that, yeah. I, I don't, didn't know that. I don't like them, that's why. I just think I don't like them like that. I should have not said that. I don't know that. Seriously. And what did you like about Europe? That people really took care of him because he was an artist. Kind of like a celebrity, you know, because he was doing like some cool art that people there were not used to. The most countries that like... Really Can't wait to go and film this as well. well. Real for food. We can hire him. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I love you. <laughs> Toma. Yeah. Wait, so Spanish people are quite racist, really? Some of them, not obvious, but yeah, they are. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> He's scary. 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 He's scary.
Ele tá com muito medo também, tá mano. <risos> Sem pessoas a usarem crack. Então vamos para a rich neighborhood. Agora vamos para a parte rica de Rio de Janeiro. This is a good video, though. Like bom vídeo, bom vídeo, sim senhora. Leblon, we reacted to that. That's crazy. Eles saíram da favela para a parte rica. Olha só o, o, o desnivelamento que, que o Brasil tem. It's like a palace. Easily walk around these streets at night, no problem. Here, no problem. Here, there are a lot of cameras, a lot of uh, private security. It's a private neighborhood inside Leblon district. You get so impressed with the size of the houses, you know, the size of the wall, the gates, the doors. Yeah, the walls are high. Oh, he's doing drugs. Cracolandia, no? Is it Cracolandia? Is it Cracolandia? Crack, remember Crack. that. Oh, oh yeah. Exactly now. Yeah, here called Piscinão de Ramos. I kind of joke around, it's like uh, Rio's Dubai. Dubai do Rio. Beach, you know. But the uh, safety situation in this part of town is it quite Man, dangerous? Uh, it, it's quite dangerous, not exactly where we are, but around us, a lot of uh, slums. Right. And from different uh, drug gangs and... Poor, Brazil is super dangerous. Man. I really want to go, bro. Like, just oh, no. for the We're fact that adrenaline just... <laughs> Governo criou isso. Governo criou isso. Yeah. Yeah, man. I explain simply it's not not gringa. Like, yeah, that's why they end up doing. That's what they do. I could not show, and many things that were ex very extreme. How do I how do I say this? There's a lot of things I can't tell you. Is it, is it true? The amount of weapons we saw today, the amount of crack cocaine use that we saw was. Man, I took a med, man. Fuck. Got assessed by people of the gang. We had prior clearance, we had to stop, wait, they had to assess us. There were times where it got a bit uncomfortable between people. Luckily, we were with Guilherme and he is smooth and he is very good talker. He knows how to handle situations. A gente tem que ir com o Guilherme, mano. He jumps in there and things go well when they could go very south very quickly. Diego, my friend that I'm traveling with, grown up in Sao Paulo, the biggest city. He's just told me to please tell you guys how shocked he was. He's grown up. In this country, you know, you've seen it's like countries within a country. It's so much disparity. You've seen the million dollar neighborhoods, all that extreme wealth. But even just driving between these places, like crime is high here. Like I'm not gonna try and portray it in any other way because that's reality. I'm not at all trying to put a bad light on Rio or in Brazil in general. I'm coming here documenting it. This is what I've seen. Uh, I'm sharing with you. I'm not trying to put like any kind of spin on it. But what we saw today was, um, Crazy. We, we saw some of the the top guys, I'll say that, um, and we saw a lot of guns. And, uh, even <laughs> He's kidding. Uh, I, I can't go into specifics because uh, Why? No, it's not fair. Because but it's going to get done. They're living here and, and the people that we've interacted with, it's not at all fair, but we saw some things. I'm going to have to leave it to your imagination. I'm really sorry. I would love to share it, but it's just not. It's not. It's not the right thing to do, and it, it's not. It's not wise. I'm sure you can understand. I don't want to get anybody 
in trouble. I don't want to start any kind of flare up or anything because you never know who's going to see this video. Something that was really shocking was the police station and the gangs are very close, a stone's throw away, less. They're right next to it. The, you know, the gangs with the guns. And, uh, this guy is so scary, he's scary, bro. <laughs> Yeah. Get them. Leave their channel below. Food and travel videos. Anyway, I'm, I'm sure I've got. I'm coming for you, Guilherme. A gente tá vindo te contratar. So what much more of Brazil to see? Brazil is becoming one of my favorite countries. I think Rio is probably one of the most beautiful cities I've been to. White sandy beaches, the mountains right there on the beach, and then you've got this craziness mixed in with it. People are amazing. The food is delicious, such hospitable people. This country is really capturing me. Still more videos coming from me from Brazil. Join me on this journey, it's wild. Thank you so much for watching. And in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Porra. Brazil, meu. Brazil é top, velho. Esquece, velho. O cara ali, olha ele, o moço tá. Ele moço falar muito. He was he couldn't speak too much because you know he was gonna get go in trouble. Ele disse logo não posso falar muito, ouvi muitas coisas que eu não posso falar, mas mano, Why tipo. Like Guilherme, mano, Guilherme, we need to get Guilherme. A gente tem que falar com Guilherme para ver se o Guilherme nos faz nos ajuda também a chegar aí na favela. Yeah, Rio for food. Mano, deixa aí a vossa opinião. É surpreendente, mano. Eu aprendo sempre coisas novas do do Brasil. Like it's you just let you speak speak speechless, you know. Yeah, especially from an outsider going in as well with yeah. a camera. I didn't think they would be allowed. Yeah, nah, you're allowed if the main guy decided that you are okay. So he's probably met the main guy. No, they not be like. like, What's up, my G? <laughs> like yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, tipo, ninguém conhece o chefão, né, mas. Olha, ela tá a dizer que ah, vai, vai chegar no chefão e vai dizer Eu sou a Bethany, sou da Escócia Eu sou a real pessoa, eu estou aqui para ver o seu país Você vai ver uma arma e você vai ficar tremendo Ela vai ver uma, 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 vai ver uma arma e vai ficar tremendo Que nem um, pa, um, pa, um, pa, um papagaio Você vai ver uma arma e você vai ficar tremendo no, you are. Yeah, you guys. Chill, bro. Chill, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Chill. You're not. You like that? Let me. Subscreva no nosso canal e vejam o vídeo. Vai estar na descrição. Muito obrigado. E vocês já sabem. Yeah, I want to see you embrace the reality there when you see a big No, I want to 